Hey guys, RickerJV121 Tech here, back at it again with another video. Um, I know I haven't done a video in a long time, so I decided, hey, let's do another video. You can see I have the Galaxy S5 in here on this channel. And um, I'm sure you've seen many of videos in the past of it where I've done other videos. By the way, I'm sorry about camera quality. I'm not recording off of the best quality camera today. I'm just recording off of an iPad. Usually I use my camera or sometimes the S5 itself because it has a good camera. Anyway, so as you can tell by the title of the video, is the Galaxy S5 worth it in 2018? First impressions of it. When it came out back in 2014, I'd say it was a pretty good phone itself. Um, had a really fast um, processing chip in it. Uh, it only had one gigabyte of RAM. Uh, you could get it in two um, storage capacities, 16 gigabyte, which is the one I have, or you could have gotten it in the 32 gigabyte. So it's kind of like iPhone almost, in a way, but instead of iPhone, well, iPhones don't have SD card slots. These do, so you can expand your storage with these and move your apps over to the SD card. Anyways, back to the video. So I have gone ahead and taken it out of the life-proof case that it was in, as you can tell by this right here. Um, anyways, so we're going to go ahead and boot this thing up. And yeah, there's your S5 screen right there. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this video while it's booting up. So it's gone ahead and booted up. I'm going to go ahead and swipe to unlock. As you can already tell, it took a little delay to unlock itself. So it's not that fast in 2018. By the way, ignore the cracks in the screen. Um, this was a freak accident. Uh, this happened at summer camp. So there's that, and then there's another. Um, so yeah. I want to say that I did just check the messages too, but anyways, I do want to say that the battery life on this is horrible. Um, it drains like heck, and um, yeah, so that's one of the things I don't like about it in 2018 exposure is like uh, it's not focusing so here's the phone you could tell there's a slight delay when I swipe back and forth between the screen um, yeah I turned off that light so that way you guys can see maybe this will do something um, but anyways some other impressions about this thing um, it's slow and laggy um, I mean not as bad as um, some of the other phones I've seen um, <clears throat> response time it's pretty good um, let's see like opening up the camera honestly I don't think this thing is good on marshmallow really I like it on um, a lollipop a lot better but you know Android or uh, Samsung can send out whatever updates they want but uh, yeah. as you guys can see right here it's uh, marshmallow and I honestly don't even like it because it's slow and laggy like I said um, and I honestly think they should upgrade it to like Android 7 and take out a lot of features that don't they don't need and take out a lot of the bloatware because the bloatware bleh, can't even talk the bloatware is what slows it down and so um, that's why it's honestly slow it'd be a good phone for these days now another thing I don't like about this is that this is one of the phones 
that has this ugly USB 3 port. Okay, first of all, I could understand it back for 2014, but like, some phones even have USB 3 ports, and it's honestly just that right there. It's not even with that extra thing. Um, you could tell that this phone has gone through war and stuff, so you know. I honestly don't care. I mean, I honestly don't even give a crap about this phone. Um, I mean, it's a good camera. It's got good camera quality. You got, I've recorded a lot of videos with this. Um, you guys can go to some of my past videos and you'll see the quality of this camera. Um, the highest this, ca this can record is in 4K. 1080p HD so you know that's what it re can record uh, it still supports most apps um, most apps some apps are starting to become unsupported because they're more for like the higher process of phones um, all games are supported that I'm aware of if there aren't let me know in the comments um, now one of the good things about this phone, um, now it says no SIM card ins inserted, but I do have a SIM card. That's why I got rid of the phone. Um, one of the things I like about this phone is that, you know, it's a good phone for old people, honestly. So let me show you guys what I mean by this. Um, don't take that as offense though. But I like this because it has the heart rate okay so anyways um, yeah that's what I like about the phone honestly um, it, it's still pretty responsive it's still usable in 2018 it's good for making phone calls you can still make phone calls you can still make text messages as you can see um, but other than that, really, I mean, it's good okay, for we'll browsing before. I, I mean, the phone still works f with everything, and it's still good for gaming. I mean, I can play some minor games like Temple Run and stuff. By the way, this is not a sponsored video, um, but it still works with everything. And I'll show you guys that it is flawless with games, but honestly, I think it's slow for what I do. And I'm more of an Apple person. Um, I'm getting an iPhone like tomorrow so yeah but as you can see like it works with most games still and it's flawless with it as you can see and it's still going so I'm gonna die right here um, but pretty much the phone itself I don't use it because of the fact that it's slow and laggy and um, yeah that's why I mean really like I said I've said this many of times um, it's good for 2018 for some people most people might want a faster phone and I I understand that if you want a faster phone get the Galaxy S9 fastest phone in the market right now um, pretty soon we'll have a faster phone than the Galaxy S9 but for right now Galaxy S9 is the fastest um, if you guys want to get an S5 um, they don't sell them at Verizon AT&T or those stores anymore but you can go ahead and pick one up on Amazon I'll try to link one um, yeah even though most of you won't click the link <laughs> but um, yeah um, final thoughts on this phone I don't think it's good for 2018 for most people it's slow laggy now if you want a good camera if you just want a phone for a camera not even for calling or anything really good phone for camera work um, like I told you guys before I do like the camera on this thing I mean it's high quality and it's good in dark light it's not that good in but higher light it's really good and it's got a 16 megapixel rear camera 
and this is an 8 megapixel front facing camera so it's not that bad so like I said if you guys do want one you can pick one up I don't really care but um yeah uh, if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up um, and don't forget to click that subscribe button and click that notification bell please it will help me out a lot um, and it will uh, also help you out when I upload a new video so that's great um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more and as always peace out